Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'm going to show you how to use a brush to create a great looking moonscape on your skyline. First, I want to thank Robert S. Donovan over at Flickr for letting me use his photo of Shanghai using the Creative Commons Flickr license. So now that I have this open, I am going to turn off this layer right there of the moon. The next thing we need to do is go to Brush Easy. I have that one right here. And as you can see, this is a brush pack right there. And I want to thank Hawks Mount right there. And it says it's freeware with no credit, so just use them. Well, I want to give credit to Hawks Mount for creating these brushes, these great moon brushes. If you want to find some more, you can just go to a Google search there and you can look at that but the moon brushes come up first on the Google search because they are great brushes. So let's jump back over to Photoshop Elements and I'll show you how to load a brush. Now we need to get onto the brush tool, so I'm going to hit B on my keyboard. That is going to take us to the brush tool over here. If you've seen some of my tutorials before, we click the down arrow right there in Photoshop Elements 11. And then in this area right here, we have these little lines with the down arrow. If you click on those, there is the ability to load a brush right there. So I have my brushes loaded there in my downloads folder over there. I have a couple patriotic ones that I'm using with the fireworks and then we come over here keep going on down and eventually we have moon brushes by Hawksmont right there. Let's go ahead and do that and I'm gonna go click on my brushes right there. It is going to load all these brushes and the brush that I picked is the very last brush here called Moon 9. So I'm going to click on that right there. If I put the cursor above the picture you can see that we need to adjust the size of the brush there so I'm going to adjust the size of my brush down to a believable size right there. The next thing I'm going to do is hit my brush settings box right there. I'm going to leave these just the way they are because I'm just going to tap that particular brush and put the moon in it. I'm going to go over into my layers palette right there. I'm going to click the new layer or as I call it the dog ear icon that will add a transparent layer above my picture. Now I want to make sure that I have white selected right there. If you don't you can always hit D on your keyboard that will put the black and white default colors in there. If you hit X, that will swap those around so that you have white as your main color. Now what we are going to do is we are going to place the brush approximately where we want it over there. And then I'm going to tap on that particular picture. And as you can see, put a beautiful picture of the moon right there. Now when you are making long exposures, a lot of times you'll notice that there's a little bit of a halo to these things. So what we need to do is we need to duplicate our layer with with a command J right there. It does make this a little bit brighter, but what I am going to do is go over into one of my favorite filters, and that is our Gaussian blur filter right here. I'm gonna make a Gaussian blur, and then I'm going to blur this just a little bit so that it adds some bit of halo to this. And then I'm going to select OK. Now if this halo is a little bit too much, we can always go over to our opacity and we can dial that opacity down just a tiny bit just so that we still have a beautiful moon there with a little bit of a halo that goes around it. The next thing I'm going to do is click onto the layer one right here and I'm gonna change my blending mode to linear dodge right there. Now if we zoom into this and I am gonna use my command plus, you can also use your control plus, right there. As you can see, there's a lot of grain on this photo, especially at nighttime, we get a lot of grain on this, but the moon is perfect. So we might want to add just a tiny bit of grain to this. So I'm going to go to my filter gallery right there. I'm going to select noise and I'm going to add some noise there. I'm going to use about two and a half percent right there distribution uniform and monochrome and that's going to add just a little as you can see just a little bit of noise in there so it looks like this moon is actually part of the picture 
and then I'm going to select OK. Now if we want to look and see what it's looking like, we hit the Commander Control 0 that will zoom out there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more because it was starting to look a little jaggy because of my magnification there. So it's looking really good now. The only thing is, is as the moon, as you look at a moon, as it gets towards the city and the city starts washing it out, that bottom part of the moon isn't quite as bright as the top part of the moon. So what we need to do is we need to merge these two top layers. So if you hold your commander control key, you click on these two layers right here, and then we right click them and we go to merge layers right there. It'll create a single layer for us. Then what we need to do is we need to add a layer mask right there. So we're going to add a layer mask right in there. And then we're going to add one of our famous gradients. So if you hit G over on your keyboard, that will take you to the gradient tool right there. We want to keep the white and black gradient right there, and we want to make sure that it is on linear. And then I'm going to draw from the top to the bottom. I'm going to draw a line from the top there to um, maybe 25% beyond the actual moon, maybe 50% beyond the actual moon right there. And as you can see, that made a linear gradient. Now that doesn't look too good, so I'm going to try that again. Maybe I will double the length of my line right there. Start at the top, about double the length of the moon. There we go, and that's looking really good. The top of the moon is really bright where the sky is very dark, and as it gets towards the city lights, it's starting to get a little less noticeable, a little less clear right there. And there we have it. We loaded our brush and we put a moon into our cityscape. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and give me some suggestions on what new tutorials you want for 2013. Happy New Year and cheers!